Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. So, I actually have no recollection of the last run. Oh wait, no, I do. I do remember it now. Uh, it was a couple days ago, so, you know, memory gets a little foggy. I'm not that old, but still. So, what I remember is I, I cheated. I don't, like, I was thinking back to it, and it's like, I don't regret what I did, because it was definitely interesting how it went. It was definitely one of those where it's like, I really wish... That that's not the thing that had happened but you know what that's kind of the way things go I was I was exploring as hard as I could I was hoping to see if I could find like some super ultra cool secret area that I could get to using my superior jumping flight skills whatever and the answer is nope no such thing but that's okay so this is one of those where it's technically a secret area but there is nothing down here worth anything I believe I'm just gonna go for it because I haven't been in this room since 1.0 and I can't exactly say wh whether or not it's gonna work. Yep, okay, so there is nothing up here, at least to my general knowledge. So I'm gonna kind of squeak over here, see if I can use, I don't know, the level architecture or the rest of my fall. Nope. Okay, so we took a little bit of fall damage. Now, before we get too far, I figured I might as well make reference to this, seeing as I haven't mentioned it in the slightest. We we're running the Babel Gun, uh, Jibber, as in gibberish, I believe is the tagline, and we're running it with Taco Terror, so we will see just how nightmarish this gun gets. Oh boy, that's a super bullet cannon uh, shooting at us. That's a little scary, but uh, yeah, we should be fine. We just have to avoid all of the things shooting at us and trying to uh, kill our faces. So not much has changed since 7-8 seven, seven, as far as this gun goes. Uh, I mean, things have definitely changed about it. Mainly. I think it actually does more damage, but has a larger splash radius, which is downright terrifying on so many levels, because now I can actually hit myself in, like, earnest, and we've got a lot of bullets flying at us, so I'm actually going to do something random and gutsy. It actually worked out really well for us. I was like, you know, we're probably going to hit, get hit by a lot of things and take falling damage. What if I can tilt before, uh, before the bullets reach me? And the answer is... Well, we're not on, you know, difficulty 676, was it? I don't know, whatever that, like, redonkulously high difficulty was when we were playing Endless Mode. Because that was nonsensical how fast the bullets were flying out of those, like, rotating cannons. Much, uh, much less, like, insane. But, uh, yeah. Actually, actually kind of enjoying this gun. The massive splash is really nice. I'd love to be running Mighty Moose with this, but I figured I don't want to be a, like, full-out one-trick pony and only do things, you know, only, only use major moose. Oh, butts. This is terrifying. Uh, the problem is, my splash radius is so high that I can quite easily hit myself, so it's one of those that if I'm not careful, I'm going to just shave off all of my health, and even more than just health, I'm going to shave off all of my weapon level, which is concerning, but... You know what, even at, like, base level, this gun is ridiculously powerful, uh, in comparison to many, many other guns. Fortunately, now we've, uh, rammed ourselves into a corner, and, ooh, bombs, many bombs. Uh, they actually dropped a lot of stuff for us, and we didn't take much damage there. I do feel like... Well, you know what, I can't, uh, deny fate, but anyway. So, it feels like the strategy for fighting Mama Spinbot at this point is just to ram yourself into a corner, as weird as that sounds, and then just shoot her until she dies, because she can't reach, like, half of the nooks and crannies on really any map you ever fight her on, so why not? Okay, so why did I say can't deny fate? Well, so, in the comments we've been discussing, should I pick up mystery boxes? And today is the day, so what does this one do? Critical chance minus minus. So, this is going to be a bit of a challenge run across the board. And I forgot I was going to do one other thing and try and rush through this level as fast as possible to get the Egon's Pride, but I kind of forgot. So, I don't think I'm going to do it, if only because we're already challenging ourselves in one way, I don't want to do, like, multiple challenges in one go. So, how's this run going to go? This run is going to go that every time the mystery box is fully charged, I use it, no matter what the effect is, no matter how underpowered we get. And the chance, chances are we're not going to do well because of we already got a critical chance minus minus, which, if you ask me, is downright terrible. But, you know what? Uh, in the interest of determine if, determining if mystery boxes have any merit whatsoever, like, I don't know, maybe they give you a weapon mod. That would be kind of insane. 
and would actually balance out a lot of things. I'd love to see this gun with... Ooh, spread shot would be nasty. Uber would be really nasty. Rapid shot would be nasty. Yeah, a lot of potential, kind of depending on what we get. And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, luckily, or unluckily, Mystery Box charges very slowly. So, we're not going to just, like, flat out chew through all of our upgrades, health, whatever we got. I've never actually seen if there's a... Where's the door? There's the door. I've never actually seen if there's a health down pickup. That would be really terrifying. Speaking of terrifying, anytime I ever see these rings, it's like, oh, that's fear incarnate to a small degree. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Like, it, it, it grazed my eyeball. I know that's not exactly the right phrase to use in this situation, but it, feel, it felt like it, uh, you know, slid straight past me, and I have no idea how I didn't get hit. But, you know what? I'm okay with it, because getting hit here would bite... Ooh, bullet dodging. Yes! I feel powerful, and then I, you know, walk my ass straight into a spike ring. I, I dig the spike rings in this game. Uh, if you've, you know, had the chance to see my custom thumbnail that I painted up for this game, uh, the spike rings were kind of one of the main features. Spike rings and bullets. Even though there are actually very few spike ring, like, sections of the game, it still stands out to me as one of the more... I don't know, interesting, intimidating parts of the game. Anyway, does not look like there's anything else around. Uh, Mystery Box is not charged. And there's luck pickup over there that I'm not able to purchase, which kind of sucks. I'd love for luck. I wonder if luck has any bearing on the Mystery Box. But today is not the day we figured that out. Now, I was I will actually admit, I've also been messing around with the console commands. Uh, just a little bit, just to see what I could get. And the answer is, uh, there are a number. So, if you want to just play the game and, like, mess around with what you can do, the two very obvious ones are, like, Flight and God Mode. And yes, there's a God Mode in this game. No, I will probably never show it off on camera, unless I'm doing something supremely stupid and or silly, and or just, like... I'll probably turn on Flight and God Mode at some point where, like, a run is just shit out of luck, but I'm in an interesting area that I want to explore. Because uh, Flight... You can't turn off flight, from what i found. Flight is one of those that uh, you enable it, and then it's just like, you feel lighter, and then you do flight off, and it's like, you feel lighter, and you're like, no, you, this is not how... Oh. And, I mean, not the end of the world by any means, and definitely one of those where it's like, you get what you pay for, and what I was paying for was cheats, and, well, what I got was... A mystery box. Luck plus plus. Beautiful. Okay, so that might actually help us out substantially. Might do uh, Jack Diddley doodah as far as the mystery boxes go, but you know what? Who knows? That's kind of the adventure of this run. Probably took more damage than I got back there, but uh, we'll see. It's kind of hard to tell. Problem is, I don't want to kill the big tank things until they're floating over a surface that I can, you know, seriously uh, harm them on. So I'm actually going to just drop down here and see what we got, because with any luck, they'll kind of follow me over a platform or something. Really, just any circumstance where I can hit them, because uh, I think those tank things drop a decent amount of pickups, and it's it's one of those where science. Mostly science. All right, so they're, I think they're in a good position, but I'm not in a good position. Uh, you know what? You're dead. Okay, took a little bit of falling damage, and I don't want to get hit more than I have to to get whatever they drop. And the answer is some tokens that... Okay, so there's one. And coinage. Coinage is always really helpful. And was that worth it? And the answer is, I don't actually know. It's kind of hard to say. But, you know what? That's life. There's a health pickup. And we're actually doing really well for ourselves. We're almost up to weapon level 4. I wonder if Taco Terror... Uh, Taco Terror could give you a blue... Like a passive blue EXP bonus. Maybe, because it feels like this gun is leveling a heck of a lot more than it usually is. Also, apparently you can move the use the moving ramps. Wait. Oh, oh, it's just the heat wave effect. For a second I thought they like shifted back and forth for, for a little bit there and I was confused. But no, that is not the case. Anyway. No. Okay. So we got something down here. What is it? The difficulty reduction. Took a little bit of damage getting it, but I would say it's well worth it in that regard. So, I think that's it for all of the, like, cool, neat, whatever things in this area. And we can take the lift, the ramps, and whatever, and actually head for the door. Instead of just sitting around here, uh, gibbering and jabbering and jibber jibber. Anyway, so how are we doing? Well, 
Uh, well, we got the mystery box, which is kind of a weird... This is gonna, definitely going to be a wild card run as far as everything goes. And if we get, like, just a butt-ton of mystery boxes, well, then that's just going to be how this run goes. And it'd actually be kind of neat for reinforcing, you know, I guess, science finding or whatever. I don't know. Uh, gambling. And if I if it turns out that the mystery boxes have, like, a 50-50, like, good-bad mix, I probably won't go for them. Currently, actually, I should probably take down notes for this. Oh, I'm too poor for that. Anyway, I'm going to grab a notepad just for a second so I can write down all of the loot I garner from the mystery box, or mystery boxes that I pick up, because they're going to be uh, counted as one and the same, because, you know what, why not? So we got... Um, Luckily, I keep many, many notepads around my recording station, because it's, well, <laughs> recording station, my desk. I don't have a specific recording station, I am not that famous of a Let's Player. So, let's see. Mystery... Box. Crit. Minus, minus. Luck. Plus, plus. I don't know actually if we got anything else, but that's kind of okay. So, we're poor, and... So currently it's at a 50-50, and if it stays at 50-fixy, 50 50-fixy, 50 yeah, if it stays at 50-50, it will be kind of an interesting question of, is it worth it? Because on one hand, it's like, 50-50 50, 50 isn't bad, but I often find that the minuses far out... Ugh, I'm in a terrible location right now. I, I'm trying to go out of my way to uh, get into like a good spot so I don't get hit by crazy bullets like that, and the answer is... I don't think I'm going to get the chance for that, so I'm just going to rotate myself around. Yeah, the bullets kind of come forever, so I'm, ju I'm just going to uh, hit the boss as much as possible. It's kind of a pain in the ass leading the boss when it moves substantially faster than you, or faster than your shots, but I really don't have much of an option here, and we're taking a fair amount of damage. I think at this point I'm just dodge uh, dancing in the lava. Ooh, if we die, I'm going to be sad. I don't I don't want to die. I, I like living, but... Uh, it seems semi-likely. Come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Don't want to get hit hit by any bullets. But oh, well, we wait. Okay, good. So, oof. We'll use that once. I'm not happy about it, but we needed it. We needed the extra health, and we can get the weapon EXP back faster than we can get the health back. <sighs> that was a stressful fight. We didn't have enough power to, like, really rail on the boss. And, hey, a uh, mystery box isn't even charged yet. I thought it was, just for a second, but it's not. So how are we doing? Well, we're back down to weapon level 2. We're just at the cusp of weapon level 3. We've got two health upgrades, and we're still running the mystery box, which charges very slowly. That's that's okay. Uh, definitely be interesting, especially in the battlements. We don't have any jumps. Jumps are going to be probably one of the most helpful things right now, because we don't have any speed either, but I wouldn't say we're slow so much as just, you know, have to dodge bullets, and dodging bullets without any hoops. Is a pain in the butt. So we've got a lot of pain, or a lot of sk oh jeez. There are spiky ball launchers up above me apparently. Mystery box armor minus minus. Oh god, that might kill us. I mean, it might not, but I'm not I'm not hinging our survival on like anything anymore because armor minus minus is probably one of the worst things you can get. I'm actually, gonna aim for these guys first because oh god, this was this was a nightmare of a room if you ask me. Okay. So, at least the luck plus plus is kind of helping us out. We got a jump pipe boost. And, no, don't go away, I need you. Okay, good. Um, hmm. No, health pickup, no, goodbye. Okay, so that was, that was a crappy room. I'm definitely, I'm not feeling the luck plus plus right now. I'm not feeling the love. And, I mean, it's kind of okay. We've got a lot of bullets flying at us. But what we do have is kind of this nice little floating armada of ouch uh, that really blew up in our face. Jeez. I'm gonna see if I can hit this one so it blows up before it gets anywhere remotely close to me. Man, it does not want to die. Okay, so we've gotten a lot of passive pickups at this point. That's actually very nice. Unfortunately, the, uh, we're not running Junk Man, so a lot of the uh, you know very nice things that are waiting for us... Oh, that's an armor pickup. Okay, so who's shooting at us? You're shooting at us. You're still around. Okay, anything else? Then I missed. No, so there's an armor armor pickup, and if I can get it, like, if I can't get it, I'm going to be very, very unhappy. Because we're still running one jump. We've got... Actually, it's... Oh, 
highly possible that we will not be able to pick up the armor boost. And that's going to make me a kind of sad wander. Because we need it very badly. But this is this is like the whole like child with a candy being dangled in front of him and, you know, can't reach it because he's too short. And, you know, you you want to punch the bully in the knees so he, like, or the gut so he bends over and you can take it from him. But that's just not the case today. So mystery box is halfway charged. There's sadness just sitting over there. And we have to go through here unless this guy drops a jump boost. Nobody does drop an armor bonus, so... I mean, I'm... Oh, hmm. Well... These guys are new. Did he drop anything for us? I was like, suddenly things open up for us a little bit, and I got stuck in the level architecture. Uh, that's like, the one problem with this game is like, it's built in Unity by one dude, so a lot of like, the things that you get stuck on, you wouldn't normally get stuck on because, you know, you got a full out team working on things, come on, come on. No. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to that. Oh yeah, no way in. Oh, I might be able to. It's a long shot, but there's one other piece of level architecture I might be able to climb for stuff. It's unlikely, but we really need that armor. Mainly because, I don't know, terror. So, oh. oh. Come on, I can make it. I can make it, come on. I, I'm so close. And if I can't make it, I'm just going to be... One sad wonder. Yep. Nope. Can't make it. And... Oof. Well, let's see what we get in the next room. And if it's terrifying, then it's terrifying. The answer is... Uh, lanterns. Gotta get out of the way first. Lanterns on a bunch of the shooting mine things. Which actually aren't that scary. Uh, there's probably bullets. Yep. Hello. There are bullets behind us, which... You know, I was like... I, I know there's got to be something shooting at me from behind. That's just like a requirement at this point. But we can jump around. The lantern of Fullis is of the mini lanterns have already like rocked themselves into oblivion. Not entirely, but they've definitely uh, thinned their own herd, which I think is a really nice feature about them because uh, more or less means they're one of the least threatening enemies in the game. They don't even do that much damage once you get a little bit of armor. And like I don't think I've even gotten hit by one of their fire mines, which is kind of insane. So that's an armor, uh, not an armor pickup, a might pickup. That's useful. And is Mystery Box going to be charged? The answer is no. Not yet. But we got some pickups. We've got, yeah. Yet. No Mystery Box yet. Mystery Box feels like a kind of one and a half times per level thing. Which I guess makes sense, especially if it pays out well. But considering currently it's given me some pretty poopy stuff, uh, we will see. Now... I, I more or less am just kind of in this weird kangaroo jumpy scenario where I don't have enough speed to truly outrun the missiles, so I really just have to hope against hope that I don't get hit by any of them, and I don't know how I didn't. Like, that's kind of some weird miraculous uh, circumstance where I did not. Okay, so what is this? Crit boost. That's actually really fantastic, because that more or less nullifies our uh, unfortunate issue with the crit reduction. Nope, I need you, I need you, I need all of you. <sighs> Bet if I'd gotten all of those yellow orbs, we would have been able to get the mystery box running, but we didn't, so I guess that's life. Let's get through here and see what we got. Because at this point, I'm trying to speed run things a little bit. I heard that there is Thai food waiting for me, and it's probably waiting on the other side of the door, and, you know, Shell is just being nice and quiet for me, and, you know, I'm very thankful for that, because this is kind of an interesting run, but I need to be very focused, because, you know, the thought of Thai food is now kind of like the... It's... Not the boogeyman, but it, it is definitely kind of this, like, nebulous beast that I have to keep in mind. Mainly because Thai food is probably some of my favorite food. And, I don't know. Uh, I freaking love Thai food. Okay, so, there's some pickups. Didn't actually take fall damage. I'm re really surprised about that. And there we go. Okay, so, the it's very unlikely I'd be able to make this. Nope. And we're going to take some really dumb damage there. Okay. It's like, maybe. Maybe I could. I, I got close, but I got stuck on the actual level architecture. There we go. Okay. So an insane amount of weapon experience, which we, you know, I wouldn't say sorely need, but considering we're running Taco Terror Mystery Box right now, uh, actually getting Taco Terror to work 
would be kind of a nice thing. Mainly because, I mean, what's the point of running a Taco Terror run if you're not going to get tacos or terror? I mean, I'm going to get Thai food, but that's kind of irrelevant. Anyway, so let's pop through here. Pop through this door, and oh, it's this room again. So if you guys remember when I had my, like, really crazy hoop run, I was able to get up there, get up top, and get some kind of crazy weapon up there. I don't think that will be the case today. In fact, I know that won't be the case today. I don't know how I really didn't take a lot of falling damage there. So there's there's many things to be unhappy about in this room. Uh, you know, massive number. And it's kind of like, how? oh, I guess we do actually have kind of a window of safety that I can bunny hop around in. But main goal, first, open up the level a little bit so you don't have to, so I don't have to be, you know, terrified of living or dying or really anything. Uh, terror, is, terror is a terrible thing to live with. I'll be quite honest. Okay, so now we got a bunch of flying tanks. I can take them out. Weapon level 5 on this gun is really powerful. Uh, the splash damage is amazing. And, uh, ugh, didn't even notice him there. I don't even... Honestly, can't tell if I hurt myself, or if I just, like, lucked out somehow, or maybe the splash radius... I don't know. Yeah, I definitely hit myself there. Well, uh, whatever. So, doing okay. Mystery box is charging. A lot of, a lot of crap still shooting at us, but... Not as much. That looks to be a might pickup over there. And that's good. And coinage door. Or not coinage door, coinage health. Okay, so still more bullets, still more mines, but significantly less than we were dealing with earlier. Main goal, get some high ground, and then shoot the crap out of them without, you know, getting walloped ourselves. I got hit by something. Not entirely sure, but you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. You know, self-esteem has gone up, explosions have gone down. Thought I saw some weird light coming from that direction, but you know what? I'm just going to pile fire into where all these mine launchers are, because if I can get on the other side of them, or at least close to them, I can get whatever pickups they drop, which is uh, hideously important, at least to me. I, I really like pickups. I re really like getting things. You know, it's like Christmas constantly, there's an armor pickup that, you know, I've been complaining about the lack of, and, oh, let's get the might pickup, of course. I guess we're also running might, uh, might pickup on this, which makes our gun even more crazy. So now we have, uh, right, I should probably write down the mystery box armor minus minus. Did it give us anything else? Yet yeah, it did, but I, for the life of me, can't remember what it gave us the last time we got it. I must have just used it, but I was too busy, you know, focusing on not dying. Or... Huh. Yeah, cannot remember what it gave me. Well, I will either look it up, or one of you guys will remind me, but I, I'm i gonna count that as a positive, I think? Unless it was the armor minus minus, and I, just my sense of time is skewed. Either way, we got a super cannon over there, and if you remember the first run of 1.0, I came into this room and the super cannon more or less just murdered my face as well as a bunch of tanks or these like flying tank things as opposed to the super flying tank things which do you know even more damage. So that's another difficulty reduction. Amazing. A lot of item charge still have not got enough to charge up the mystery box. And oh, you're gonna die. Maybe you're gonna give me enough? No, does not look like it. Well, we're doing okay as far as health goes. Let's get these tokens. See if, see if I can get this one. Nope. Do not have enough hoops really love a double jump. If, if we don't get a, sig a single, like, extra jump this entire run, I'm going to be flabbergasted. And a little sad, because it means that I'm not going to be able to get my hands on uh, any of the secret areas in presumably what's in the next room. I might be, I mean, I might be a bit presumptuous here, but I think, oh, hello, mines. Better get out of here before these guys kind of lay down the, oh, mystery box. Item charge rate minus minus. That is very unfortunate. Okay, well, we will see. Explosions, and actually it's really safe down here. Uh, looks to be another activated item, but considering I'm running this as a mystery box only run, then come on elevator. Don't do not do this to me. Come, come back. Come here, Bessie. Come here. Let's get out of here. So there is actually a secret area up over there. Every time I come into this room, I kind of forget that there is one. But it, the question is, do I tango with it? Because I do stand to take a fair amount of damage trying to get up into that secret area. And the answer is, I'm going to go for it, if only because, I mean, I'd be remiss not to. And our luck actually, as far as pickups go, 
has been pretty darn good, so I'm going to find the secret area, even if it's really pointless. I have no idea what that one does, but that's kind of an interesting question. Now let's go see about this elevator thing launching us up into secret areas. Okay, so you have to be on the left to launch yourself up, and back down. Good. It, this is definitely one of those interesting sequences. Yes, okay, I really like the whole like lift, lift jump stuff. Actually, uh, come to think of it, uh, David, who I've you know referenced many a time on this show, has mentioned this game, game would be really interesting with a rocket jump, and I'm definitely inclined to agree with him. Uh, I mean, there's definitely that, like, element of intentional damage to jump is a scary prospect in this game, mainly because I very rarely would I say taking damage to get up a slight distance would be worth it. Ooh, that is a lot of scary. Well, we got a lot of saw blade launchers, and with any luck, uh, with any luck, I A, won't get hit enough to m mitigate this. And, yep, looks like I'm kind of okay. It looks like another difficulty reduction. I kind of have to, like, bounce around here for a second. Okay, we've eliminated half the bullets coming at us. And we're finally up to Taco Terror. Uh, oh. Oh, no. That's not what it does. For a second, I thought this gun, gun got a slowing effect for some reason at, you know, max level. And that would be insane. But that's not the case. So, another might. We're definitely going to be one heavy hitter as far as this run goes. Oh, back down to weapon level 5. We got, I think something blew up on us, or I shot myself. Both are incredibly likely. So, we are a... T oh, crap. We are a tank. We are a walking tank. Uh, we do crazy damage. We have a fair amount of armor. What's that? Damage minus minus. Okay, so we do significantly less damage than we did just a little bit ago, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, that's kind of it. And actually, I will be right back because apparently somebody's following me. Okay, and we're back, and I'm in a different spot, and I've taken a little bit of damage. Uh, the one, the one problem with uh, my recording right now is I'm actually in a situation where uh, I have to go out to eat, which will be fine. I'll just leave the game running. It's not like it's going to kill my computer. Now the question is, is if there even a reason to go down? Because the last time I was in this room, there's stuff down there, and this time there isn't. So, oh, right, got to record. Damage, minus, minus. Okay, so currently, unless that one uh, random mystery box pickup that I wasn't paying attention to actually, like, had a huge benefit to me, then, oh, wow, I've never even seen Dr. Turret in this configuration slash on this level. Well, I actually have to say Dr. Turret is probably the... I usually don't say this, but I'm very glad we're fighting Dr. Turret right now. Mainly because he just flat out died. I probably should have tried farming the bombs for a little bit, just get some pickups. But you know what? That's kind of life. Mystery box is almost charged. Does not look like it will get up there, though. Shame. Oh, well. Oh, do not want the trans-dimensional highway. And let's get through. So, we're a bit injured. Uh, a lot of that's my fault. I was trying to... Uh, well... When the phone started ringing, there were still spin bots flying above me, and it's like, ah, this is the worst. And there's no pause button on this. Why is there a pause button in this game? Actually, I bet if I had pressed escape, it would have paused the game, come to think of it. I kind of... For whatever reason, I, that did not register in my head. Anyway, so... Let's just get through, and at this point, I'm speedrunning, because, uh, like I said earlier, with my, you know, suspicions of Thai food, they are correct, I am getting Thai food. So, oh, thank lordy... The thing I just got, okay, nothing happened. So, so my suspicions of Thai food were correct. And in fact, probably actually gonna have to pause this run and finish it halfway through unless I could really speed run right now. And that does not look like it will be the case. Wow, those things really charge up uh, the mystery box. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna say I'm fine with because the mystery box seems to be kind of a piece of crap, but it's, I don't know. It's nice for the sake of science, so let's, uh, what are we gonna fight? Bunch of rotating, uh, eight shots, and a lot of purpley stuff, and I got stuck on the spikes, which, not happy about that, but I do have to say, as far as the rotating eight-shotters go, they're actually probably one of the easier enemies to fight right now. They're very easy to outpace, and I do a lot of damage, uh, splash damage specifically, which makes them, uh, kind of easy to chew through. So, we're doing pretty well on health. Oh, come on. I'm not going to make it, am I? 
Nope. Okay, all the pickups are gone. And... Oh, not all of them. Just a little bit left. Unless this disappears before I get it. Nope. Oh, okay, got it. And there doesn't look to be... Oh, there's a little bit left in here. But not much. Some health. And yeah. So I'm gonna make a old college try. See if I can make it. I did. I'm impressed. I did not think we had enough hoops for it. But I guess we had baseline before we got the extra jumps. We had a jump height boost. And now we got two jumps. So it's this room again. Pretty easy. And we've got the... Uh, jackass invisible guys all over the place. So at this point, I'm just kind of firing shots off into random space in hopes of taking them out. Actually, screw it. I'm not going to fight these guys. That's pointless and stupid. Because they do a lot of damage, and they don't drop jack diddly doodah. So why why fight them in the slightest? I'm going to fight them if they show up, just so they're not, like, plaguing me. But, oh, come on. Don't want to get lasered in the back. And let's just rush up here, because... Uh, I could probably kill them all in hopes of charging the mystery box one last time. And the answer is I'm just going to try and like hop over their laser beams and kill them this way. And we've got a lot of bullets flying at us. But they're all dead and kind of wait for the light to turn green and charge for it. Get whatever we can. And there's one more thing shooting at us. Oh, you. Did he drop anything? The answer is no. Okay, so time to charge for the gumbo machine and see how we do. So, mystery box not fully charged. That's fine. Frustrating, but fine. And I guess time to fight him. So, luckily, this gun shoots really fast, so I can kind of chew through him, but uh, we don't do as much damage. I really wish I hadn't got the damage minus minus, but I mean, we're kind of doing okay, actually. I, I predict we're at least going to be okay against the gumball machine, presuming I can hit the ball thing. Jeez. Okay, and now, now is when things get not hard, just damaging. Because, okay, because I want to take as much health as I can into beautiful. Okay, so that was all right. Uh, we didn't take nearly as much damage as I thought we were going to, but we did take a fair amount of damage. Let's get whatever health and weapon EXP pickups we can. Just a little bit. And mines, which I'm going to go with no. Crit is going to be substantially more helpful against the Maw than this. And now we're going to actually make things into super ultra hard mode. Just for a second. So, mystery box up. Item charge rate plus plus. Extra jump added. And... I hit myself twice there. Not happy about that. It's like, I didn't want to do this, but I kind of have to. So we're going to be fighting a really hard maw. But I think we can do it. I don't think... It's hard to say. It's hard to say how this uh, final boss fight is going to go. But considering... I don't know. Considering everything, I have faith in our abilities. And we will see. I think I have to... I actually will have to go get Thai food before I fight them all. Which is kind of unfortunate, but that's kind of the way things go. So, I'll see you guys back in a bit, and then we will uh, take on them all. Actually, screw it. I can do this. I can do this in, like, no time at all. Come on, fast, fast, fast. Fast, 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 fast. Crow's Nest, come on, load, load faster. A at this point, it's the race against time, as in, I'm really hoping my ride is caught in traffic, but you know what? We will see. So, through the door. Through the door. Through the door. And... I, it does kind of bother me that there's this, like, massive, not wait to get to the mall, but you definitely do have to wait a lot longer than I would like to to fight the mall. So instead of, you know, tangoing with the slow-ass lift, and instead of cheating again, because that would be kind of stupid and unfortunate, I'm just going to take the very quick way over. And here's the interesting question. Am I... Oh, jeez, this is going to be really unfortunate. Okay, well, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was really hoping we'd have just enough hoops, but we don't. So, maw time. And... Oh, shoot. Oh, it was an item charge plus plus. I was like, what? What boost did I get from the mystery box there? And the answer was, I'm not entirely certain, but it's kind of like... I. Okay, yeah, it was definitely item charge plus plus, 
Oh well, we're going to do this the semi-hard way of shooting the maw from a great, great distance. And definitely not happy about fighting the maw from all the way over here, mainly because a couple of super bullet cannons, but Zed is life, correct? Zed is life. Okay, so we're hurting ourselves, but that's one of the nice parts about Taco Terror. Do I actually have to get all the... Ooh, hello. Well, that's, uh, that's a perk I'm willing to kind of go with. So, yeah, the Maw only comes back when you can get back to this platform. I was really hoping you'd have to, you'd be able to fight the Maw from long range, but you know what? We defeated the Maw, broke the things, and we get to use the Mystery Box one more time. Blue EXP++. Plus plus. Okay, so there we go, and whatever that weird pickup was, I forget. Uh, I'd like to know what it was, and I'll have to review the footage for it maybe, but it looks to be a 50-50 mix of good and bad. So, you can't destroy the tower. Yeah, so the restaurateur is complaining that we're destroying the tower instead of, you know, exterminating everything for him, visible from space. Sorry, sir, but there's no other way. Wonderful. I don't know who would ever want to put a restaurant there, but you know what? That's that's life. So we made it just in time for Thai food, and it's time for me to uh, run downstairs as soon as we get our weapons done. You fool, you've destroyed it all. My dreams, my lifelong passion to create the first interstellar dining experience. That place was no fit venue for dining anyway. I'm sure there are other locations. Maybe the Great Wall of China or the Hoover Dam? They don't have space for the ovens. What? Ovens? Who said you needed ovens? You can set up an ice cream stand or sushi. All the kids love sushi. So this is these days. You may be onto something. Yes, I can see it now. A sushi bar on the Hoover Dam. Open air seating visible from space. Okay, and there we go. So that was a 41 minute run. That was definitely quick. Uh, well, that's one more satisfied customer, and more importantly, that's one romantic vermin infestation that will never spread further. You probably avoided some incredible food poisoning lawsuit or something, too. Great job! Alright, go to the menu. Well, Uber wins. Another four. And what was the final difficulty? 190. So I don't know if killing all those hugbots in the end actually affected the difficulty or something. Because we picked up a couple of difficulty reduction things. We picked up a lot of might upgrades. And interestingly enough, apparently batches of uh, the mystery box pickups from the mystery box item don't actually count for what badges you picked up. Which is kind of a shame because I'd really like it uh, to categorize them for me because that would be really cool. Oh well, so good run and I'll see you guys on the next run of Tower of Guns. And as always, thanks for watching.